to a new video. So today's video, I'm going to be doing a recreation of this set, which I absolutely fell in love with. If you haven't seen Sarah Britton's Instagram, go and check her out. She does the most amazing short nails. So we're going to be recreating those today. Uh, thank you, Sarah, for the inspo. I'm going to be using Madame Glam's gel polish. I've got Food Coma and Lilac You a lot. I'm also going to be using Perfect White and the boardwalk as well later on which i will show you you can get 30 percent off madam glam using my code natmog30 links and description no links and discount codes will be in the description box below that's what i was trying to say i'm doing an ombre so i'm going to do an ombre on two nails so i'm going to do one layer and you've got to do this on two layers so you just blend the colors in until you're happy using my ombre brush um, the first one just kind of seemed to blend really nicely, so I didn't do a lot on that one. But I'm going to do two coats. This is the second coat. Pop it in the lamp. And then on the bottom, right, these are ombre pigments from Nail Sugar. Um, you can get 10% off anything on the Nail Sugar website using my code NATMUG10. We are going to be using the white pearly pigment from the ombre kit. Yeah. Um, it's just, Sarah's nails had a little bit of a pearly shimmer to the end so I just wanted to replicate that and I thought I know what I can do I'll use the ombres yeah the ombre thingy <laughs> um, the two nails I'm going to do plain lilac so her her nails with the crystals on looked like she'd done ombres underneath however for um, to make my life a bit easier i'm just going to do the the crystals are just going to be on purple nails so i'm going to do one coat pop it in the lamp for 30 seconds then i'll do another coat this is the first coat i'm going to do two off camera there we go uh then the last nail so we've got two ombre nails two plain lilac nails this nail i'm going to do a marble because i haven't done a marble for a long time and it's yeah it's way it's it's way overdue so the base color is going to be food coma just going to do one coat of this because you don't want this now to be too thick but i'm going to show you a little bit of a thing that's going to help get rid of some of the bulk get okay, blooming gel we need blooming gel uh, this is the boardwalk and then i've also got perfect white which for some reason i don't show so i'm going to put a layer of the blooming gel on the nail we're going to put that to one side don't cure it it does not need to be cured not yet anyway um, i'm going to put a line of pink purple and white on my palette then i'm going to take um i don't know use a docking tool i can't remember what i used crystal picker up i think uh sweep it through the colors and then using the ombre brush i'm just going to swoop it up and float it over the nail now it's going to be quite bulky look we've got a lot of bulk going on here but what i'm going to do is I'm gonna I'll, I'll show you I'll show you so if you've got gloves pop gloves on if you haven't then I'm gonna use a wipe and all I'm gonna do is so you could use a gloved finger but I'm gonna use the wipe place it up against the side wall and you're gonna pull off some of that excess gel polish and so that's gonna remove the bulk it's also gonna help spread the marble and then once you come to cure that, because you've pulled off a lot of the excess gel polish, you won't have any wrinkling, which is great. Oops, butter fingers. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to use the velvet matte top coat and I'm going to top coat the ombres and the marble, not the lilac ones. Um, can you see that it looks like it's not cured, but it's the pigment underneath and I didn't like how it looked. So at the end, I am going to glossy top coat those. These are Preciosa's Unicorn Tears Crystal Fairies. <laughs> so pretty. Um, I've also got Preciosa's AB round flat back crystals here. What I've done is I've put my gem glue on the nail. So we're going to do two nails like this um facing each other to make a heart this is one half of the heart so to outline the heart oh i needed to burp then sorry um we're, we're doing a, an outline of the heart using the bigger preciosa crystals and i've used nalchemy's crystal totalist gem glue as you can see here that's going to cure for 60 seconds then we're going to cover the rest of the nail in the crystal totalist gem glue this cures without a tacky layer so we're just going to sprinkle our crystal fairies into straight into that gem glue and then yeah they go everywhere by the way 
<laughs> be prepared. Then I'm just going to tap the crystals down so that I haven't got any sticking out too much or any, you know, like any poking out the side. You want them to be laying as flat as possible. If you've got any areas where your crystals haven't managed to stick, just sprinkle them back over. Or as you can see in a minute, I do just use my finger to pop um, a couple of the crystals here. Oh no, yeah, here. Hey, look, hang on, here, look, I just pick some up and just place them on. Um, you might want to do it with a gloved finger because I don't, you know, if you get any uncured gel on your fingers, it, it can, you know, if you do it a lot, it can cause allergies. So I'm going to repeat this on another nail, just at yeah, this one, just doing the heart the other way so that it makes a full heart. And then we want to add some crystals to these nails. We're going to do crystal cuffs. You've seen me do these before. I put a little bit of the glue where I want the crystals. Then I'm going to place the crystals on. And then I'm also going to use, can you see I've got some silver caviar beads there on the kitchen towel, the paper towel, kitchen roll. It's actually kitchen roll, not paper towel. Um, I'm just going to tuck these into the gem glue before I cure it. And I'm going to do that, as I said before, on the other nail. And then I am going to re-top coat these with glossy top coat because it looks much better and then i yeah i think i'll show you the finished set because i think that's them done oh they're so pretty and this is them finished Ta -da! i hope you like them if you did leave me a like please 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 um if you haven't already do consider subscribing it is completely free um links and discount codes will be down below also sarah's channel will be down below so go and go and show her some love she's amazing god bless i love you all and i will see you in the next one yes love you bye